सर्वे भवन्तु सुखने सर्वे सन्तु निरामय सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःखभाग भवेत् नमस्ते एवरी वन आई होप यू डूइंग वेल वेर एवर यू डूइंग दिस वर्ल्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इरिटेबल बाउल सिंड्रोम और अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस वट काइंड ऑफ फूड यू शुड अवॉइड इफ यू हैव दीज इश्यूज सो आई गिव यू फाइव कैटेगरी ऑफ फूड विच इज प्रोहिबिटेड इन आयुर्वेदा and also in the evidence based modern science and in the end i will give you ayurvedic kitchen formula which is you can use from the kitchen and that will help your condition all right so um, on the five categories the number one category is high fiber food so you want to avoid any meal which have more than 2 g of fiber going into your body what it does is fiber increase the colonic residual so it increase the motility of the intestine so there is more stuff in the colon and colon feel like it has to emptying so you will have more bowel movement so more fiber more bowel movement and in this condition you want to avoid bowel movement because you already have too many so high fiber food you need to avoid what kind of food like fruit or vegetable which have a lot of skin which have thick, thick skin so any fruit uh, with skin you have to avoid banana you can take because banana doesn't have any skin uh, bread that has to be avoided second category is food with indigestible carbohydrates so um, there are many food like uh, brussels sprout cabbage asparagus artichoke so these foods have indigestible carbohydrates in them so these will lead to osmotic diarrhea osmotic diarrhea means uh, is kind of diarrhea in which you have in your bowel the undigested food so indigestible carb so these category um, have foods like asparagus artichoke brussels sprouts cabbage garlic onions zucchini beans and peas so these foods you have to avoid because it will lead to osmotic diarrhea you will see in your bowel fragment of the food third fructose or sugar alcohol so um, like dry fruits all the fruits except uh, some fruits like banana have fructose in them so they you need to avoid so they are dry fruit fruit juice candies like many sugar free gums and also there are many uh, soft drinks which are basically fructose based so they need to be avoided as well so fructose or sugar alcohols need to be avoided because why because it again leads to osmotic diarrhea the third the fourth is the milk products so all the milk products uh first if you're lactose intolerant you have to avoid them secondly milk has a lot of saturated fat and you want to avoid fried and fatty food in this condition uh it can it can lead to osmotic diarrhea again uh and it also um uh, it also is basically a lot of um uh, fats in them and milk has also protein and which sometimes intestine is your own immune system if it stays long enough it can attack your own immune system can attack on that protein uh fifth category is coffee containing beverages so coffee tea some kind of tea with high caffeine in them colas energy drink many uh sports drink say for instance can have caffeine so they because they increase they stimulate the intestinal motility so you want to avoid these two again if intestinal motility or gut motility is increased it will lead to a uh, more frequent bowel movement and that you want to avoid so yeah high fiber food food with indigestible carbohydrates fructose or sugar alcohol fourth was milk products 
who fried and fatty food fifth is the coffee containing beverages so these five foods you need to avoid um, any ayurvedic kitchen formula is um, peppermint is quite good if you can have some peppermint oil and put a few drop in the water and then drink it throughout the day so whenever you drink water add some some uh, drops five six drops of peppermint oil in it and just drink uh, or you can uh, just crush the peppermint and put boiled water in it and then consume that water so peppermint is, is actually quite good in this condition and this is something available in your kitchen uh, and this will help in soothing the smooth muscle of your gastrointestinal tract and remember these muscles are very inflamed in this condition and that's what colitis is it's an inflammatory disease of the colon and the bowel so um, in which the mucosa and submucosa of the intestine is is highly inflamed a lot of cytokines over there so anything that soothe them will help yeah so this is something um, you can you can try apart from you have to visit of course your doctor or ayurvedic physician um, to take a proper diagnosis of your situation and that they can be able to guide you what kind of pattern you have so even if you have the same disease but different pe people have different patterns it depends upon which constitution you have you may have vata and you have, may have pitta so he may have to he or she may have to adapt uh, change your food and other the medicine accordingly so uh, yeah consult your doctor for proper treatment but these foods you can avoid and try peppermint for these conditions thank you very much Om Shanti